All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Ohara Kakudash. Double honor to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who and where I learned the truth from. It's all you faithful, locked and thought the full winds continue pushing his truth and righteousness and sincerity and endure till the end. And this video right here is going to be another response to HOI's blooper or, or, um, or stumble. And um, on, on Romans 11, the 11th chapter, dealing with the Israelite foreigners and the word Gentile and, and riches. But on this, you know, a lot of brothers are doing videos on this topic, on the subject of the Israelite foreigners. So we're just going to keep on doing these videos just to rebuke these other Israelite camps sharply. Okay, that's our job. If somebody's going off, we have to rebuke them sharply. So... This is, um, I'm going to deal with the word, uh, branches, right? And I'm not going, um, not going to get too deep with it, of course. You know, just keep it as simple as possible. Romans chapter 11, and I'm going to start from verse, um, 16. And I want you to see something here written in, in the NLT verse, written as you can see on the screen. Romans 11, 16, 17. And I'm going to read probably all the way down to like... 20 and um or well, verse 19 but we're going to go into the word graft and probably we're going to touch on the word matter of fact I, actually what i want to do is i want to make another part to this video but touch upon the word uh skyon a uh, skion or scion i believe that's how you pronounce it and and we're going to just go into it and we're going to see what that word scion means all right and but anyway, Lord willingness to be edifying. This is Romans chapter eleven, starting at verse six sixteen. All right. Now here you have an account of 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 that the apostle Paul was making about Israelites of the, the Jews that were in like around Judea that kept the law, statute, commandments. Those were considered to be those circumcised Israelites, those that knew the law, statute, commandments. Right, and the account that that the apostle Paul made was was uh, was making um, was that they were um, envious of these Israelite foreigners that the Lord was bringing into the fold. That and the Lord uh, pretty much uh, not not pretty much, but He bestowed the Spirit upon these Israelite foreigners, and they were doing the works to a point that you had these Israelites in Judea that were getting jealous of those Israelite foreigners, just like you have now. You have Israelite foreigners that don't even, uh, even a, a lot of us don't even appear to be Israelites any anymore or any longer, but we are indeed Israelites. And and you got these uh, other camps that are that are getting jealous of these Israelite foreigners because we're on fire for this truth. Unlike you, you other uh, Israelites out there. So we just gonna go into it. This Romans chapter eleven, matter of fact, and starting at verse. 13 for I sp yeah 13 for I speak to you Gentiles this is the apostle Paul speaking and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles I magnify mine office if by any those Gentiles are Israelite foreigners the word uh, for Gentile is gen Gentilis the the Latin word for Gentile is Gentilis which can mean a race a clan or a people a nation tribe pretty much uh, it's dealing with uh, Israelites I magnify mine office Right, because the Apostle Paul was sent to those uncircumcised Israelites. They were following pagan customs or heathen customs. Verse 14, if by, if by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my, my people and might save some of them. Right, emulation means jealousy. And that's what the Apostle Paul was doing or, or, the, or any other, uh, the other apostles. They were provoking other Israelites. Just like, man, look, man, like, like you see these Israelite foreigners here? How come the Lord ain't dealing with us like that in that manner? They got the Holy Spirit bestowed on them. We over here still trying to keep the laws perfectly. We're over here rejecting the Messiah. And a lot of these uh, Israelites back then knew they were rejecting Yahweh Shai. They knew they were rejecting Yahweh Shai. But they kept doing it, and, and, and that was pissing the Lord off. So the Lord was like, you know what, since you reject, since you reject, um, 
the Lord, you reject the Messiah, you reject uh, Yahweh and, and, and Yahweh Shai, at, 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 then what? I'm going to reject you and I'm going to start dealing with these Israelite foreigners that were, were Hellenized, that were following G Greek customs. You know, that's a miracle right there. Matter of fact, let's grab this right quick. It worked in your days. Sometimes you can't even get right to the video. Like you want to break down something, you want to get to uh, start reading and just start going into the to the breakdown, or, or you know explaining. What, but you still you gotta always build some type of foundation in order to or give the account of what happened at least to to, to start your your video or to get into these words like grafting and scion and all this stuff. So it's it's hard to do that sometimes. You know you gotta go into the account. First, then break down the scriptures. Um, yeah, Habakkuk chapter one and verse five. Behold, he among the heathen, and regard and wonder marvelously, for I will work a work in your days, which these days are speaking about now. So the Lord is working a work in our days, which he will not believe, though it be told you. Yeah, you got Israelites that don't even look like Israelites no more. You look, got Israelites that look like Edomites. Israelites with blonde hair, with no, with a lack of melanin, doing the works, and 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 and, and you know, and being on fire for the truth. Why you are the Israelites are lazy as all hell. Don't study, don't study words. You're not on fire for the truth. You reject Israelite foreigners that look like Edomites or of another nation like Elam or um, of another nation like Ham. Ham. And those Israelites are on fire. Why you over here bullshitting? These Israelites are, 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 are doing the will of the Heavenly Father and the Son Yahweh Shai. And you other niggas out here bullshitting. So that's the, the work that the Lord is working in these days and our days is bringing the Israelite foreigners together. And uh, and what? And it says here, which you will not believe, though it be told you. It's being told to you. It's being declared unto you. And he still won't believe, right? Because your blindness, oh, oh my goodness, man. Damn, I can't jump into that, but I'll mention it. Blindness is happening part until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. These Gentiles are Israelite foreigners that are coming into the fold, supping. Um, the Lord is supping with these and making his abode and, and the Lord and the Son are making their abode with these Israelite foreigners. And what is being told to you and you're not going to believe and you're blind to it. You're blind to the fact that these Israelite foreigners are being gathered through the uh, the the uh, um, the um, the ends of the earth. They're being gathered and you niggas out here bullshitting and playing games, making this an Israelite party, like some type of fashion statement with your flashy garments. And we love we love the fact that you niggas are blinded. I'm just going to be honest. I love the fact that you niggas are blinded. That's showing you the, the Lord's power, the, showing you the Lord's power through an Israelite foreigner. Acts chapter 13 and verse 41. And this, right, check this one out in Acts 13 and 41. That ties in, that, 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 that. matter of fact, Acts 13 and 41. Behold, he despisers and wander the, and perish, because that's what you niggas are doing, are, are perishing, and are now going to perish in ICBM nuclear destruction. For I, for I work a work in your days, a work which he shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. And you other Israelite foreigners, you niggas out there, look, this ties in perfectly with Habakkuk 1 and 5. It's the, I believe the apostles um, quoted this from the book of Habakkuk. So this was already prophesied in the book of Habakkuk to happen during the time of the apostles. And now what is now being recorded? The words that we are speaking now are being recorded and we're quoting the book of Habakkuk and the book of Acts 13 and 41. The same exact thing that was happening back then is happening now. That's why the scriptures say there's no new thing under the sun. So what? Acts 13 and 41, behold, he despises. Who are those despisers? It, um, these Jews that kept the law, statutes, commandments, so these wicked Israelites. They despise the Israelite foreigners greatly, and they're doing it now. They're proving us right. So, what, uh, HOI, 
the HOI bloopers. That's what I called it. H I'm going to call it HOI bloopers. That might be a series. Every time they go off, I'm just going to make a page just for their ass. HOI bloopers. Now, I might not do that, but because you, shit, we can make a page for all you Israelite camps for that. Right? And wander and perish. So they're wandering. They're like, and wonder, like, what, what's going on here? That's showing you that the Most High closed the eyes of these, these uh, false prophets. For I work a work in your days, a work which he, which he shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you, and is being declared unto you. You know, you don't receive, only the sheep hear the Lord's vo voice. Only the sheep hear Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah's voice. You other Israelite camps out there cannot hear the voice of the Heavenly Father. This thing is deeper than just knowing you're an Israelite. This thing is deeper than, than just uh, um, cursing out Edomites. This thing is deeper than just calling yourself an Israelite. Brother, you know you are Israelite, right? Oh, you from the tribe of Judah here. The, let's go into the curse to the to explain why you're from the tribe of Judah. No, this thing is deeper than that. So Romans chapter 11 and verse 14. If by any means I may provoke to emulation, which emulation could go into jealousy, them which are my flesh, and might save some of them, right? He might save some of them if, if you if you turn back unto to your power, because you did have Jews that, that knew the law, statutes, commandments. They, they were um, doctors in the law and statute and commandments. You know, you had Jews that turned back to their power. Many uh, of the Jews believed. Yahweh, even when Yahweh Shah was on earth through in his ministry, through his ministry was bringing in Jews in Judea um, to believe on, on the miracles that he was um, doing. And when the apostles were, were um, in the ministry back then, were, were, through their ministry were bringing in um, Israel, um, Israelites that, that knew the law, statutes, and commandments. But you still had those wicked Jews, those wicked Israelites, which really when you say Jew, it means just going into the southern kingdom, Benjamin, Levi, and Judah. And um, the, the word Jew goes back to, into, goes back to the tribe of Yahawada, or the tribe of Judah, which uh, is Yahawada in the Hebrew, which means Yahweh thanks. So, verse 15, and that's what the Lord did, was giving these... Uh, uh, a Israelite um, wicked Jews, a a a a mind of jealousy, uh, a, a, to 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 be jealous of the works that the Israelite foreigners were doing. These Israelite foreigners out there, man, they ain't bullshitting, man. They doing the works. They're doing the works. Unlike a lot of you niggas out there, Romans chapter eleven and verse fifteen. For if the casting away of them, meaning of these Jews, be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be? But, but life from the dead All right And the ultimate goal here was to bring All um, um, Israelites That will receive Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and, and Back uh, to knowing who they are But of course there was always that That that, that um, Huge number that Didn't believe Of Israelites that didn't Believe and just like now that's why you got two thirds Predestined to destruction And death because this is not a Bible for everybody. It's not a Bible for, for, for the whole nation of Israel. The whole nation of Israel on this side is not going to be saved. Verse 16. For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. 17. Verse 17. And if some of the branches be broken off, which some of the branches were broken off of the southern kingdom... Because when you look at history, the during the time of the Greeks, the tribes that were in Judea and Alexandria, Egypt, and Cyrene, Libya, and those different parts around the Mediterranean Sea, those were Israelites of the southern kingdom. Because prior to that, you got what, about 3, 7, 22 BC, 6 something, 5 something, 4 something, 3 something, 400 years prior to that, the northern kingdom fled over here to the Americas after the Assyrian Empire 
and you had the, the, the southern kingdom there in that region. But you also had northern uh, sprinkling of the northern kingdom in that region as well. In, in the Mediterranean Sea, that's what I'm saying. You had uh, nor the northern kingdom Israelite tribes um, around there, such as Anna the prophetess, or Anna. She was from the tribe of Asher. This thing is deep. Who knows? Cornelius could have been of a northern kingdom. He could have been of a, a southern kingdom. It doesn't say what tribe he's from, but we know he's an Israelite due to the works, the alms, the, how he prayed, how he fasted, the works, caring for his people, having a fervent passion and love for the Lord. Ain't no Edomite going to do that. Ain't no other nation of people going to do that. Wait, son, he was from the Italian band, so that makes him an Edomite. You niggas are fucking retarded, man. Retardado. Slow of mind. Romans chapter 11 and verse 17. And if some of the branches be broken off, which the southern kingdom was broken off, right? And thou being a wild olive tree, how, how is it broken off? By following the, the ways of the heathen. And thou being a wild olive tree were grafted in among them, and with them partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree. And always that root goes right back to the tribe of Judah or Yahweh Shai, which is our foundation. That's when things start growing, start flourishing. Right through Yahweh Shai of the tribe of Judah. It all starts with the tribe of Judah. Let's grab a scripture to uh, back that up right quick. Isaiah 48 and 1. Hear ye this, O house of Jacob, which are called by the name of Israel, and are come forth out of the waters of Judah. Proving that the waters could represent a people too, that are come forth out of the waters of Judah. You see? So we come forth out of the waters of Judah. It all starts with the tribe of Judah. Yahweh Shai is from the tribe of Judah. This Genesis chapter 49 and verse 8 Judah thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemies thy father's children shall bow down before thee you see so Judah it starts with Judah thy father's children meaning the other tribes will bow down before Judah and ultimately, that's going to what uh, happen? What in the kingdom that we are all going? We're all going to bat out to Yahweh Shai, because it all starts with the tribe of Judah. He's from the tribe of Judah. Romans chapter eleven and verse seventeen again. And if some of the branches be broken off and thou being a wild olive tree were grafted in among them and with them partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree now let's prove that this olive tree represents the nation of israel the first scripture i want to grab i want to grab isaiah 5 i was going to start from the top but let's grab jeremiah chapter 11 and verse i believe it's 16 or 17 right jeremiah chapter 11 to do what have my beloved to do in mine house seeing she hath played oh man <laughs> this is Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 14 um, but the point is in 16 the, and I actually want to read to verse 17 therefore pray not thou for this people Jeremiah was told by the heavenly father pray not thou for these Israelites fuck these niggas don't pray for them they're acting like a bunch of, a bunch of degenerate bastards don't pray for them I had enough of them leave them alone let them be let them die let them perish let them be unbelieving yeah gone this is Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 14. Therefore, pray not for this, for the, thou for this people. The scriptures tell you to pray not for everybody. Jeremiah was even told, don't pray for these people. Yahweh Shah didn't come to pray for everybody. He only came to pray for his elect. You can find that written in John the, the 17th chapter. This Bible is not a universal book. Don't pray for everybody. It's not to be done. Don't do that. Neither lift up a cry for 
or, or neither lift up a cry or prayer for them. Like, man, fuck these niggas, man. Don't even cry for them. How long will they mourn me? Some old Tupac shit, man. Fuck you, nigga. I ain't mourning for your ass, you nigga. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. And that's Jacob's trouble. When you niggas cry to the Heavenly Father in a, in a state of desperation. Ah, ah, I'm starving. You're no longer hungry. Now you're fucking starving. Your ribs, your, 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 your stomach is touching your ribs. Your ribs is, is like fucking compressed to your, to your, to your flesh. Like so compressed to your flesh that you're gonna be fucking starving out here. The most I said, man, fuck these niggas. I'm not gonna hear you. Let Esau eat them. Let this devil roll on you. And I'm not gonna save you. That's what the Lord is saying here. For I will not hear them in a time that they cry unto me for their trouble. The Lord doesn't want everybody to come into this uh, truth. The Lord doesn't want everybody to come into this truth. Verse 15, what hath my beloved to do in mine house, seeing she hath wrought lewdness with many? With who? With these different nations. That's what was happening during the time of the Greeks, the Babylonians, before that. Even when we came out of uh, Egypt, following uh, or, or bowing down to some golden calf. Wasn't Jeroboam doing that during the time of 9-something B.C.? I believe when Jeroboam came about in 9 something BC, correct, uh, I gotta look back at the dates. That's why the, the southern and northern kingdom split. That's why they had a split back in 931, 930 circa BC, 930 BC circa. So, Lunas, right? Seeing she, what hath my beloved to do in mine house? She, seeing she hath wrought Lunas with many, and the holy flesh is passed from thee. When thou doest evil, then thou rejoicest. What? Right? Now the, it's amazing. When you go into uh, Ezekiel 37, which I'm not going to grab, which I'm not going to grab. If I had another brother or two, we could go into all those precepts and like make it uh but i don't want to make this a real real long long video that's like a sit down you do with brothers well you could do it by yourself too but this particular video i just don't want to make it that long so what that holy flesh was taken away from us when you go to ezekiel 37 the lord put that holy flesh back on his people but who the elect starting with the elect or those first fruits right and it all started with abba bivens in the tribe of judah so what the most I said, what you have to do in my house? I'm gonna kick you out the house. Just like the man, right? When 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 a woman, uh, when a man wants to get rid of his bitch for being disobedient and uh, and playing a whore, playing a harlot, he got to kick out the fucking house. You got to get the fuck out the house. I don't want you around me, bitch. Get the hell out the house. That's exactly what the Lord did with us. He cast us away from his sight. He cast us far off from his sight. He cast us over here to the Americas. Like, man, fuck you, nigga. I'm tired of you niggas, man. You are dis disobedient, gainsaying, wicked ass niggas. I'm tired of you niggas. I'm through with you. Get the hell out of here. I'm, I'm tired. Leave me alone. And that's exactly what the Lord did when he split the kingdom of the, the, the northern and southern kingdom. That's exactly what he did. What hath my beloved to do in mine house? This beloved is representing what the whole nation of Israel, seeing she hath rout lunas with many. What does it mean to, to, to rout lunas? What does that mean? Ace 40. My, 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 my. Purpose, discretion, device, plot, devices of evil, mis mischievousness, witty, following like you Puerto Ricans, you follow a, 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 a pink meat God, a pink meat uh, false savior. Cesare Borzia, Jesus Christos, Dios. You niggas into that Rastafarian Kushite shit. Niggas getting dreads like these Elamites. The dreadlocks came from Elam, the East Indians. The most I don't want nothing to do with you two thirds. That's what you don't get. Right? You want to make evil your acquaintance 
guess what? Then evil will pursue you. If you want to make evil and destruction your acquaintance, that's what's going to happen to you. In the house of the Lord, so the house, uh, the Most High kicked us out of uh, out of His house. Like man, fuck you, man. Just like now, you niggas, are, you other Israelite camps, like H O I, are kicked out of the Lord's house. Talking about house of Israel, nigga, you're kicked out. You're kicked out of the Lord's house, and this is really dealing with the, the elect, this spiritual temple. You can call yourself house of David, house of Israel, all you want, but you're not the house of David. We're the house of David. I'm being, I'm just being bold. And Lord willing, I'm one of those men. We always say, Lord willing. Adawan Rataza. Adawan Lord Rataza willing. Lord willing. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 15 again. What hath my beloved, which is the nation of Israel, the Israelites, to do in mine house, seeing she hath wrought lewdness with many, and the holy flesh is passed from thee, meaning it's not on you no more. But it's on us now. The ones doing the works to the Heavenly Father. And those Israelite foreigners are doing the works to the Heavenly Father. And they have the Holy Flesh on them. When thou doest evil, then thou rejoicest. The Lord called thy name a green olive tree. So this is tying into Romans 11. And this is dealing with the nation of Israel that rejected the Israelite foreigners. That were being grafted in. Or grafted in. Grafted in the Lord called thy name a green olive tree So there's plenty of trees you got different type of trees But the the, the the green olive tree is symbolic to the nation of Israel Fair and of goodly fruit with the noise of a great tumult He hath kindled fire upon it and the branches of it are broken off So the most High devoured this 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 tree like man All right, man go your way man Go your way. I'm going to turn my face from you. I'm going to turn uh, my face from you. I'm going to show you the back and not the front like the scriptures say. I'm going to show you the back and not the front, meaning the Lord rejected you. The front can represent the Lord's face, panya, which is Hebrew for same face, in, uh, which means um, face in the Hebrew, panya. So the most, matter of fact, this uh, Psalms 34 and 16, let's grab that right quick. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. So the face represents this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, this comprehension of the truth, which these Israelite foreigners have. Unlike you other Israelites out there, you don't have this understanding. Oh, he looks uh, like a white man. So what? He's doing the works. He's doing the works. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. So the nation of Israel was committing all types of sins, all types of evils, transgressing the law, statute, commandments. That's what happened during the time of the Greeks. You had Israelites that were, they were going off, following Antiochus Epiphanes, Antiochus III, Antiochus II Theos. We could go in history deep in this thing if brothers wanted to. Just like the apostles say, they could go into history that even I don't know and brothers don't know. But what's the point? Is the point is being made simply by bringing out, you know, but we can do that. You know, of course, there's a point. What I'm saying is, what's the point of, if you other Israelites don't even, man, it's a waste of time with you uh, Israelites. We just go right to the point, prove it with uh, simple scriptures, which are actually meat for you other Israelites, and just keep it moving. That's it. And that's what we're doing now. We're keeping it moving. So the face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. So that's what the Most High did. He turned his face from his people. Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 16. So Israelites during the time of the Greeks were following um, the Greek fashions. You can find that all written in the book of the Maccabees. Them fake Christians won't tell you that in these church houses, these harlot houses. That's a house. Just like you niggas call yourself the house of Israel. Ain't the Harley houses, it, it, that's a house. It's a wrong house and that house is gonna be devoured. You can have plenty, you got plenty of trees, right? You got like, you got the trees, the nations are considered like a tree. But those, those are different trees. They're not the nation of Israel. The, the, the nation of Israel is considered as an olive tree. You got different houses, you got, but, the Lord is only dealing with a specific house, and that's the house of David. 
Malak Dawada, King David. And that's the elect. Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 16. Lord willing, I'm one of those men. The Lord Yahweh called thy name a green olive tree, fair and of a goodly fruit. With the noise of a great tumult, he hath kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken off. These are Israelites, really the southern kingdom, along with the northern kingdom. Nobody just said it was the northern kingdom. Who the fuck said that's bearing false witness against us? You giving you giving out a, a, a evil report about it. We ain't even say that. You HOI niggas I'm speaking about. We ain't even say that we're on speaking about the Northern Kingdom. Who said it? I don't hear no other Israelite camps out unless I missed it. You mean you could should clarify it. If you got something to say about it, say it. If you got something to say about it, be bold and speak up. You niggas can't even do that. And the branches of it are broken off. And these branches are Israelites that started following heathen customs. Now check this out. Proving that the branches are Israelites as well. Verse 17, Jeremiah 11 and verse 17. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee have pronounced evil against thee for the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah. Right, so the northern and southern kingdom. Don't we mention there was a sprinkling around the time of Yahweh Shai and the apostles? A lot of those Roman centurions could have been of the northern kingdom. And I'm being bold in saying, yeah, they were. And they were also of the southern kingdom. Yes, they were. Just like here in America, you got Ephraimites in an American army, in the uh, United States military. You have southern kingdom in the United States military. But there's still Israelites. Who said they were just of the northern kingdom? Nobody said that. They were just, as just saying, they weren't of the southern, but they were just of the northern kingdom. Like we just excluded the southern kingdom out of the picture. Nobody never said that. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee hath pronounced evil against thee. And evil means bad time. Eve time, ill means bad. And Eve means bad. Evil against thee hath pronounced evil against thee for the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah. Yeah, following different customs that are, um, that are not yours, that are not of an Israelite custom. That's evil. Being, um, being taken on cargo slave ships during the time of the Middle Passage, the Atlantic slave trade, that's evil. Following different gods, that's evil. Forgetting who you are, that's evil. The Lord could do what the fuck he wants to do, and he did it. For the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves. So you did it to yourselves. To provoke me to anger and offering incense unto Baal. So you did it to yourself. Uh, like the Lord said, I told you so. Don't hurt yourself now. We only warning you. You're going to hurt yourself. You, you play with fire, you get burnt. Don't touch that right there. Don't touch that elect electricity box. You get burnt. That's what happened to me when I was young. I remember this. I was living in Mozambique before I even came here to, to the Americas. When I came to, before I came here to the Americas, I touched an electric box, and you had a bunch of hand mites. I remember this like it was yesterday. I no, I don't believe I mentioned this to brothers, but I got so many testimonies. I'm a little slow in mentioning some. I'm like, oh, I remember this too. But I had um, touched an electrical box, and my body was <laughs> shaking. My mother had to pull me off while you had a bunch of hand mites around looking at me, fucking um, watching my my ass fry. Why you had my mother pull me off and she saved my life from that situation. I remember that like it was today. And you know what I used to, matter of fact, it is a testimony. It's crazy how the Lord works, man. You know what I used to always walk around with? A stick. I always used to walk around with a stick, uh, make a uh, believe, uh, uh, pretending that I was driving a motorcycle. And I always used to think of uh, the wall, a wall. Always something about walls for some reason. Walls. You know it is just it's in the spirit though. Like wall, what does this have to do in a stick? Wall. The middle wall of partition. Like that's the spirit. The Lord could deal with you like that. Brother, just testimonies that brothers probably or, or things that brothers don't even mention other brothers. But you keep that to yourself. But I that, I just wanted to mention. You know, this thing is about Israelites only, man. It ain't for you heathens, man. You got Israelites out of every walk of life that's coming out of every nation under the heavens, man. 
and they're declaring the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai faithfully, not doing it for for for, for vain uh, rep, uh vain uh, or pretense or pretending a pretended cause. I'm not fake with it, nigga. I'm not fake. I'll let it be known. I'm not fake with it. You know, but there's a lot of men out there that fake it. They not of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Then they try, got the nerves to try to call somebody fake. Nigga, you fake, man. We're going to see when that time comes. We're going to see who really, we're going to see who fake. You don't know what certain brothers go through. Why certain brothers uh, speak the way they do. You don't know that. You don't know what brothers go through in their in mind, in their body. How they're being afflicted. You don't know that. You're not Yahweh Shai. You're not the Heavenly Father, man. Leave it the fuck alone. You're going to fucking burn yourself. You're going to hurt yourself, nigga. I'm warning you. You're going to hurt yourself. Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 17, right, for the Lord of hosts that planted thee, so, uh, pl right, because the Lord is the husband man, which the husband man means planter, hath pronounced evil against thee, so he planted a nation in Israel, and you know what he did, he plucked us up, he plucked us up, he said, nah, fuck y'all, I'm gonna cut you down, I'm gonna, you're gonna just be dispersed and scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, throughout the four winds. I'm going to cut you down bad. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee hath pronounced evil against thee for the evil of the house of Israel, the northern kingdom, and of the house of, of Judah, the southern kingdom, Benjamin, Levi, and Judah, which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger in offering incense unto Baal, right, to other gods. And I believe this was a, a supreme deity, so-called supreme, but a deity of the of the Hamites. Or of the Canaanites, Phoenicians, right, Hamites. So Romans chapter 11 and verse 17, and if some of the branches be broken off, and thou being a wild olive tree were grafted in among them, and with them partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree, right? Because these Israelite foreigners are showing their faith by their works, or showing their works by their faith. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the but the root thee. Thou wilt say then, the branches were broken off that I might be grafted in. Well, well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And thou standest by faith, be not high-minded, but fear. Right, because of unbelief. You had Israelite foreigners, that, that, I mean, Israelites that didn't believe. So check this out. Let's read verse 16 of the NOT version. And I'm going to read on down to like verse 17 and 18. Romans chapter 11 and verse 16 of the NOT version. And this is how you know the blue letter in these Edomites know Know that this is speaking about Israelites. They were they were uh, broken off. So let's grab it. Romans chapter eleven and verse sixteen. And since Abraham and the other patriarchs, who Isaac and Jacob, because the promises were only made to the seed of Israel, were made to Abraham. You could go find that in Genesis seventeen, Second Ezra the third chapter. Sirach, man, Acts chapter 5, Isaiah 45, or Isaiah 40, throughout the whole scriptures. Matthews 1, Luke chapter 1, Romans 11 and 16. And since Abraham and the other patriarchs were holy, their descendants will also be holy. Just as the entire batch of dough is holy because the portion given as an offering is holy. For if the roots of the tree are holy, Judah starts with the tribe of Judah, the branches will be too, whether they're of the southern or northern kingdom, the branches. But some of these branches from Abraham's tree. But some of these branches from Abraham's tree, some of the people of Israel have been broken off. Come on, man. The blue letter states and is telling you that these are Israelites of the nation of Israel. These are Hebrew Israelites. 
that were broken off of Abraham's seed. Do we got to get scriptures dealing with seeds? Pro um, but the promises are made unto you and to your seed. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 16. So this cuts Ishmael. This cuts Esau, Edom. This cuts all these different heathen nations. This is only an Israelite thing, man. This is an Israelite in-gathering. The influx of Israelites coming into this thing, not these other nations. But Israelites, uh, yeah, Israelites amongst these other nations, yes. But if you're not an Israelite by blood, you can't partake in this tree or promise. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 16. Now to Abraham and his seed uh, were the promises made. Who was that? Speaking about Israelites, were the promises made? Not to Ishmael, not to Esau. You're not going to find that nowhere written in the Bible. You're not going to find out one single scripture that tells you that all these nations can be saved. You're not going to find that. He saith not. And to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. And that's the Israelites, the 12 tribes. It went from Abraham, Jacob, um, from Abraham, Isaac, then Jacob. Check this out. He saith not, and to, and to seeds as of many. Why is it to seeds? Uh, uh, let's read it again. And he saith not, and to seeds as of many, right? Because Abraham had what? Eight sons. He had Ishmaelites. He had the, the Arab nation or Ish, Ishmael, which that's the real biblical name, Ishmael. But what? It went to, what, to Isaac, then to Jacob. And it all ties in because Isaac was about to be sacrificed by Abraham. And Abraham didn't sacrifice Isaac. Why? Because Yahweh Shai is Isaac. Yahweh Shai had to be crucified for the nation and the seed of Israel when he came on the scene. See how things all tie in? As of many, right? Because Abraham had many seeds, but it all went to the Israelites. And to thy seed, which is in a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Come on, man. Boom. Verse 17, Romans chapter 11 and verse 17. But some of these branches from Abraham's tree, some of the people of Israel have been broken off. And you Gentiles who were branches from a wild olive tree have been grafted in. So now you, you also receive the blessing of... God have, has promised Abraham and his children, not all, not all nations, not all nations, sharing in the rich nourishment from the root of God's special olive tree. And that was part of what? That fatness of that olive tree, this wisdom, this truth, the riches. It's not hard to see this. Verse 18, but you must not brag about being grafted in to replace the branches that were broken off. You are just a branch, not the root. So that's why the Most High uh, uh, brought that jealousy upon these other Israelites. You know, yeah, we were Israelite foreigners, yeah, but, but, but it all started with, with, with those that knew they were Israelites. Right, but the Most High used Israelite foreigners to cut those other Israelites. You know, and John, what, 7 and 35, Acts chapter 13, verse 40, something around there. Like the Most High said, look, since you put it far from you, I'm going to go to these uh, um, Israelite foreigners. They were acting, they were, they were acting like heathen. Ephesians chapter, I'm going to go into that word grafted. But let's just grab this right quick. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 11. Wherefore, remember that he being in time past Gentiles, Israelite foreigners or outsiders in the flesh, 
who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Right. The circumcision was those Israelites that kept the law, statutes, commandments. Don't these Israelites in these days be like, if you don't keep the law, statutes, commandments, you, the Lord is going to kill you. But they don't keep the law, statutes, commandments. The scriptures say if you say you keep one, but uh, uh, if you say you keep all the law, statutes, commandments and offend in one, you break all the law, statutes, and commandments. So you can't keep the laws perfectly in this society. That right there cuts you other Israelites is stealing money from your brothers um, keeping a law statute and commandments is is acting like a nigga keeping a law statute and commandments making money off your congregation keeping the law statute and commandments no having um, uh, Israelite unity camps that don't even tie in with the spirit Meaning one believes in this, one believes in that gospel, that one believes in that gospel and that doctrine, and they're all off. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 11, Wherefore remember that he being in time past Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision, right, those Israelite foreigners, by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Verse 12, that at that time he were without a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, right? Israelite foreigners uh, during the time of the Greeks. And also these other captivities, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. Verse 13, but now in a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, he, he who sometimes were, were far off are made nigh by the blood of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Verse 14, for he is our peace, who hath made both one, meaning he's bringing all the tribes together, but one, being in the right spirit. Not having Israelite unity parties, Israelite unity camps with different doctrines. But being of one spirit, one like mine, and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Right, hostility, yeah, the middle wall of hostility. And these Israelite far um, these Israelites now, Salaka, they look down, yeah, these um wicked Israelites that look down at these Israelite foreigners that got hostility towards us. Hostility towards me, hostility towards the brother GMS Napashba, the brother from the UK, the brother from Memphis, GMS Memphis, Tennessee. All these other Israelite foreigners out there, they got hostility. The brother from London, Israelite foreigner, I mean Holland, Israelite foreigner, they got hostility towards us. Oh, they look a certain way. So what? We doing the works. We look a certain way, but so what? We doing the works. <sighs> Man, yo. Um, what was I going to grab? Right, we were once uh, strangers. Now we're, we're, oh yeah, this is Zechariah, chapter one, and verse eighteen. No, hold on. Zechariah, cha Zechariah, chapter one. Yeah, verse eighteen and verse nineteen. Verse eighteen and nineteen. Check this out. Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 and 19 Then lifted I up mine eyes and saw and behold four horns Horns represent a uh, power structure or kingdoms You can find that written in Daniel 7, Daniel 8 and other scriptures You got uh, Assyria, Babylon Babylon Persians, the Persians, the Greeks, the Romans now we're here in America in this last and final captivity. Zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18. Then lifted I up mine eyes and saw, and behold, four horns. And I said unto the and I said unto the angel that talked with me, What be these? And he answered me, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. So it wasn't just the Greeks that scattered us. It was the Babylonians, it was the, uh, the, the Assyrians, it was the Romans. And that's very spiritual because, well, I don't want to get too deep in it, but the Persians allow us to go back and build the second temple. But still, there were still our enemies, yes, yeah, so that's part of the, the, the horns well, uh, um, part of the horns. But you had Babylon, Persia, the Greeks, and the Romans. 
So we weren't just we weren't just Hellenized by the the Greeks, but that was the main captivity that the Israelites were Hellenized under. That was the the Greeks. When you go during the time of the Greeks, when you go into the Book of the Maccabees, you can find that history written during the time of the Greek Empire. You see that? These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem, the southern and the northern kingdom. Just wanted to bring that out. Now, finally, let's go into the word grafted. This, this got to be about an hour almost. Yep. Branches. Let's go into the word graft or grafted. G14. 61 Strong's G 1461 Egentrizo 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 To cut into for the sake of inserting a scion And that's the video I want to do after this Scion To inoculate and grab grabbed in to engraft, so the Lord was bringing these Israelite foreigners in, and that's what it means to to graft. Let's go to matter of fact. Let's go look up the online entomology. Here we go. Graft, shoot, insert it into another plant, or the olive tree, right? Alteration of Middle English graft, late 14th century from old French, gra graefe, grafting knife, carving tool, stylus, pen. From Latin, graphium, stylus. From Greek, graphian, stylus. From graphian to write. So called probably on resemblance of a stylus to the pencil shaped shoots used in grafting. Uh, meaning literally a digging. And all it means to bring in. Oh here we go. Graft. Insert a shoot from one tree into another. So when you're going, um, for example, when you're foreign to these law, statutes, and commandments, you're um, you're following um, heathen customs, right? Matter of fact, let's let's grab this grab this real quick. The trees, they were jealous. The trees. I know it's in Jeremiah or Ezekiel, one of those uh, books. I believe it is. I know it is. Living all oh, that's a good one too. Um, to the end of none of the trees of the waters exalt themselves for their height, neither shoot up, neither the trees stand up their right and all drink, for they are delivered unto the neither the parts of the tree. I have made them fear by the multitude of his branches, so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of God envy him. Oh man. Now I gotta start before that. I got to start before that. Ezekiel chapter 31 and verse 4. The waters made him great. The deep set him up on high with her rivers running round about his plants and sent out her little rivers unto all the trees of the field. Now the field represents the world. Therefore his height was ex exalted above all the trees of the field and his bows were multiplied and his branches became long before the multitude of waters when he shot forth all the fowls of heaven made their nest in his bows and under his branches did all the beasts of the field bring forth their young and under his shadow dwelt all great nations thus was her great thus was he fear in his greatness in the length of his branches for his root was by the great waters. The cedars in the garden of God could not hide him. 
the fir trees were not like his his bows and the chestnut trees were not like his branches nor any tree in the garden of God was like unto him in, in his beauty I have made him fear by the multitude of his branches so that all the trees of Eden that were in the garden of God envied him who are those trees in Eden because Eden could represent the whole world too but who are those trees in Eden these heathen nations are likened unto trees so they envied us don't these nations want to be like Jake J man the Lord is a, a is is the ultimate Jake he is a, a the ultimate poet the way he describes things is is just you know and brothers bring it out the way they bring it out but the way the Lord writes it down it's like man you can't make these things up. It's like, wow, man. You're like, you get so overwhelmed that the most High is actually dealing with you. You could go from one scripture to another. And the most High got a sense of humor because if you can't keep up, you can't keep up with the spirit. You'd be like, oh boy, I forgot what I was going to say. But that's good though, because all the information that, uh, that has to come out comes out. Or whatever information that the most High wants to come out comes out. So let me read this again. Ezekiel 31. So the. The, the tree that the Most High is saying it was planted by the great waters or the, or the waters is speaking about the Israelite foreigners. It's speaking about the Israelite, uh, oh, uh, no, it's speaking about the nation of Israel. Excuse me. I have made thee, and I, Ezekiel 31 and 9, I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches so that all the trees of Eden, which are these other nations that were in the garden of God, envied him. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, because thou hast lifted up thyself in height, and he hath shot up his top among the thick bows, and his heart is lifted up in his height. I have therefore delivered him into the hand of the mighty one of the heathen. He shall surely deal with him. I have driven him out for his wickedness. And strangers, the terrible of, nation, of the nations, have cut him off. And have left them upon the mountains and in all the valleys his branches are fallen and his bows are broken by the rivers of the land and all the people of the earth are gone down from his shadow and have left them upon his ruins shall the fowls of the heaven remain and all the beasts of the field shall be upon his branches to the end that none of all the trees by the waters exalt themselves for their height neither shoot up their top among the thick bows neither their trees stand up in their height all that drink water for they are delivered unto death to the nether part of the earth in the midst of the children of men when they with them that go down to the pit who are the children of men these other nations So he's going into what the Assyrians, the uh, Pharaoh, one of the Pharaoh kings of Egypt. I don't know what Pharaoh this is. So he's liking these these different kings to trees. I have seen men like trees. Don't the scripture say I've seen men like uh, like trees? I believe that's in the New Testament. I've seen men like trees. So these scriptures all connect. They coincide with one another. So you have trees of these heathen nations, you have heathen nations uh, likened unto trees, and you have Israelites likened unto trees. Now, I was on an online entomology, that's how I was getting. Graft, right, verb, insert a shoot from one tree into another. So it has to be of, the, of, of that same genealogy, and that's what I wanna do, touching upon that word scion which is one of the definitions for the word grafting or graft or graft. So it can't be of, the, of a different stock. It has to be of the same lineage and the same stock. And with that, shallow one.